for a while, I was a silent leader. And even if you talk to the coaches that I had, it was always a struggle um, for me just to, to talk. You know, not because I didn't want to, just because I was always so focused on what I was doing and um, trying to focus on what my next step was or what my next move was. And I think over the years, I even in college, um, just being more of an actual leader, talking, holding each other accountable, being respectful. Michelle really was never a, a, a big, loud voice um, around her teammates. Um, you know, she was she was a an impact player and a difference maker. Um, she became that because of her work ethic and her attitude and her commitment and dedication in the off season. All she needed was just an opportunity, just like we gave her here, and she took advantage of it. It was just a crazy um, line of events, but again, it was Coach Ballard and the generosity of his family and his guidance that really got me to where I am. I would say just being able to influence the minds of the kids and seeing them really, you know, I would say that my school is very, a lot of the kids are underprivileged, so maybe when they're at school, this is the only time they get to play a game with actual, actual equipment. So I would say just in general, being an elementary school teacher is just seeing the kids laugh and learn something new and be able to, you know, build relationships with other kids in the class and then also as well with me. So um, just being able to know that I'm positively influencing their life when they're at school is definitely the most rewarding thing for me. You know, she, she was just a great example of that this is what can, this is what can happen, you know, um, as far as all the, the uh, achievements um, not only individually, but also uh, helping your team get to, to new heights. And, and uh, Michelle's footprints are, are all over our program in terms of helping us get to the national tournament for the first time in the history of the program. And now we've been two more times since she graduated and, and we've won a conference tournament championship and, and a regular season championship. You know. It, Good people follow good people, and you know, M Michelle. Michelle helped us recruit some some other good players um, that followed in her footsteps. We tell the kids exactly what they need to do, you know, how they need to do it. Overall, just how to be good people. You know, I think the focus is more on well, what's going to happen when you leave here. You know, kind of similar to. Um, like I said with Winona, are you going to be able to be successful once you leave? And it's the same thing here. Like, what do we need to do for these kids so that they can be successful when they move on and when they eventually get to um, high school and hopefully if they choose to and can go to college.